Oh my God. How is it getting through their hair so easily? Like somebody is lying or did I buy the wrong one? I don't understand. Like it was like, especially like right here, I can really, really, really feel it. It's a lot of air coming in here and there's no air in my bathroom. What the what is going on everyone? Well, Meraki here and welcome to my channel. And if you already know what the what is what, welcome back. I'm trying not to curse. <laughs> It's been a while since I've filmed in my bathroom. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. So my first YouTube video was in my bathroom. I don't know why I stopped. I like it here. It's cool. But um, yeah. So I'm here today, as you can already tell by the title to test out some brushes or whatever let me go grab my girl my good girl my old girl now i told you guys how i upgraded from the tangle teaser let me start from the very beginning so the first brush i ever used was like a knockoff denman brush you know from the beauty supply store and that did not work out it had to go like it was ripping my hair out like crazy like it was it just wasn't going through my hair like it was a waste of time and it hurt and done <laughs> from that point on i just stuck with combs but then later on i think maybe 2017 i gave the tangle teaser chance you know the handheld one that told like that like that yeah so i gave that one a chance and it was good at first but then over time i noticed like okay there has to be something better out there because that was ripping my hair out too and so that's when I came across this brush, the Crave, <laughs> the Crave Natural Brush. Um, the name kind of like crossed out, but oh, I almost went blank. Okay, what is it called again? Um, but yeah, the Crave Natural Brush. I found this on Amazon. Um, I use it in almost all of my videos. I tell you guys how much I love this brush, but I did mention how I have to go through smaller sections with this because it can't get through big sections of hair. So I kind of wanted to upgrade from this brush and find something better. So I decided to um, mosey on back to the Tangle Teaser, but a different brush though. I'm muzzling back to the brand, but a I'm trying to use a different brush. I'm pretty sure this is like nothing new. Almost uh, almost every natural probably uses it or has talked about it, but I haven't used it yet. So yeah, this brush right here. <laughs> if you watch Naturally Philo, um, she uses this on her own hair and on, um, what's her friend's name again? Symphony, Sophony. Oh, her name is like right on the tip of my tongue. Y'all know her name. But yeah, her friend has like 4C hair and then naturally Phil, I think she said she has like 4A, 3C or a mix or something like that. At the end of the day, she was able to use this in her hair and her friend with 4C hair was able to use it. And on big, I saw some big ass textures that they were using it on, so. I'm just thinking that, you know, maybe this will like work for me. So this is like a slight unboxing or whatever, but I'm also gonna test it out. Um, I did make me some black seed gel. Yes, girl, I'm telling you guys, this black seed gel has changed my life. I use this every wash day to detangle my hair. Um, this is still the old um, wash and go that I had going on. Wash and go. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put the video up here. You can like, you know, check that out. <laughs> But yeah, uh, this is what it's looking like so far. Surprisingly, it's still soft, but it's it's soft, but it's starting to get like a tad bit dry. Just a tad bit. Um, I felt I felt drier days, so this is like nowhere close to my really, really dry days. <laughs> but yeah, it's a tad bit dry, and um. Damn! That shit stank down it. Ugh. I'm ready to wash my hair. <laughs> but I needed to tangle, so yeah. I finally got my hands on some whole flaxseed. Whitney tried to tell us whole flaxseeds, but if I, oh. Is that an omen? 
but by accident I got the roasted kind which still worked you just have to double the measurement Whitney uses like one about one fourth cup if you're using flaxseed gel then you need to up it to like at least three fourths cup to get a good consistency out of it but wow the whole flaxseed gel was like so much easier like with the roasted one I'd have to uh, boil it for like maybe two hours or more but with this one, even when it was on high heat, I can leave this on high heat and it wasn't like acting crazy. It's almost like it has like a high heat temperature. Like you know how like some oils like peanut oil or coconut oil, they have like a high, I forget what the word is called. Basically they can handle a lot of heat. It's almost like the whole ones can do that as well. Cause it, with the roasted one, it just kept drying up. The water kept drying up. I have to keep adding water, but this one, it wasn't going crazy and the consistency is a lot more smooth it was just just a lot easier to work with yeah I just put some in an applicator bottle finally got that Ugh, finally got an applicator bottle so it's like less of a mess but yeah I wasn't able to strain this um, I saw uh, why is her name Sheree Del Sol um, in one of her recent videos she was using I, I don't know if it was like for aloe vera one but she showed us about how she like was straining something using this contraption and for whatever reason I thought hmm that's a great idea I can use this for um making flaxseed gel but the strainer for this is way too fine the gel literally cannot penetrate it was just like sitting on top it was crazy but this is such a great invention though I, I don't know if they have like a, a strainer that has that's a little more loose and not as tight because I would totally buy that one and I also wish that this had a lid on it so that instead of having to like pour everything out into like a bowl this could become a bowl too but it's cool I can still use this for other things but I just mainly wanted to buy that for the flaxseed gel but it is what it is but um I guess I'm doing a lot of talking <laughs> I don't know let me separate my hair in half if I can like my hair is soft and it's not as tangled up as it could be but it's still tangled up though I think the softness of my hair is making me think that my hair is not as tangled as I know it is but it is what it is this is why I'm like so iffy about washing goes because I don't like shrinkage like this it's just gonna make me lose a lot of hair that I already don't have just for curls like if my hair doesn't curl then it doesn't curl if it curls it curls it's like not the end of the world cool experience though um I will try it again but yeah I just prefer my twist outs <laughs> but um let's go ahead and unbox this really quick let's open this up Oop. Plastic wrap is trying to take me down. <laughs> Ooh. All right, the tangle teaser. <laughs> wet like you said of course it can work in and out of the shower <laughs> which is the main reason I was like excited to try this because although I love this brush it's not gonna go through really big sections and the handle is so small like can I really even call this a handle it's basically like the you know the regular tangle teeth where you have to hold it like this so wish it had a handle but this has a handle so let's see how this oop should I brought my scissors I thought this was gonna be an easy open maybe I was wrong oh wait there's this little fold in here I'm stupid I'm stupid Ooh, this looks so professional I don't know get out of here don't embarrass me <laughs> yeah oh my god it's Oh, I just got my fingerprints on it, but it's so like sleek and shiny and then it's like matte like it has 
This is like a really sleek, stylish brush. I feel like a professional. I feel like it just makes you feel like you have money or something, you know? Rich girl type things. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to curse. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. Um, I think I'll use, it's already on this side. I'll go ahead and use my regular Crave Natural brush that I absolutely rave and talk about all the time. I'll use it on my left side, which is your right. And then I'll use the Tangle Teaser Ultimate Tangler on my right side, which is your left. I have my little laptop. I'm gonna put on some One Piece. I'm like in the 300s um, episodes and oh my God. I am so happy Skypea is over. I'm so happy that Alco, whatever it was, is over because they were like dragging that out crazy. And I'm, oh, I'm especially happy that, ooh, I think my room is infested with ants. There's like a small little hole where I've seen ants come in and out of. And it's been like that since I've moved into this apartment. When I sat on my bed, I had like a flying ant sit on my chest. A flying ant. So I feel like there's a whole colony in this bitch. And there's a I've been seeing like a lot of big ants lately. And there's like a big ass ant on the ceiling. Hold on. <laughs> Are you guys seeing that? Like I don't understand. Where are you at? I'm pretty sure you can see. I think my yeah so weird but whatever and then i'm so happy that um we were talking about one piece i'm so happy that what was the last situation the whole saving robin situation oh my god and cp9 and what's that place called that they went to the marine base it's not a base but it's like a judgment thing whatever it's called i forget i'm so glad that's over because it was taking forever like it was really pissing me off like the, ep the episodes are like what 22 minutes long and then it's like five whole minutes but it almost feels like 10 minutes honestly they spend the time with like this long ass intro it's like <laughs> their opening is like like what one two three minutes and then they have to always bring back the um the rogers d rogers that you know that little scenario that they always play back about him and like that and then they have to recap what happened in the last episode and then it's like after all of that you only get five minutes about what this specific episode was supposed to be about bro it was killing me it was killing me like i would keep falling asleep and skipping episodes because i just could not deal yeah it was just too much going on Crazy, crazy rainbow star. I'm a crazy rainbow star. Something like that. <laughs> but the music is finally getting a little better. I'm just like, Naruto didn't play about their music. Like, all the songs matched and hit. But with One Piece, it was struggling a little bit. I'm just like, um. <laughs> but the music is getting better. I think my favorite song so far was the one was like, Come back to your friend, come back to your friend, come back to your friend. And then now I'm like in crazy, crazy rainbow star. Oh my God, it feels like something just bit me. Oh my God, there's another ant. There's one on the roof and there's one on my bathtub. And they're big as hell. I think there's a whole call in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tell them to come spray, come do something. Cause this is like an ongoing issue. This is an ongoing issue, it's getting ridiculous. Am I still logged in? Oh, I am still logged in, period, because I didn't know if I knew my password still. Let's get it banging. And I will go ahead and speed this up so this video isn't like unnecessarily long because, yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so this did perform. <laughs> this did perform per usual. Um, update. I don't think I'll ever do a wash and go again. Oh my god, I haven't seen my hair shrunken like that in really, really, really long time, and I don't think I can go back. Um, this is some of the shed hair that I got from this side um there was a bit of hair left in the brush but not a lot so this seems to be like a decent representation of how much hair I lost I don't know I don't think it's that bad but I know some people don't because I I've I've lost a lot more than this before but I know some people they only use lose this amount for both sides so yeah <laughs> And I don't think I'm going to wash my hair tonight. I think I'll just save that for tomorrow morning. And I think I'm going to try doing like a green tea rinse again to try to strengthen my hair. Because the protein stuff is not, it's not working. I feel like the little protein conditioner that I use, it mainly just helps help my hair bounce back. But I don't feel like it really strengthens my hair. So, yeah, I'll be using that. But yeah. This performed like this. <laughs> this performed like I normally expected to. Um, I did struggle with a few sections, but my hair is like kind of like knotted like crazy. It did a pretty decent job. Like I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like the tangled teaser combs are a little bit longer. So, and I have a grip now. Y'all saw how I had to like hold it like I did like that. Now I have a grip, baby, so let's go ahead and test this out on the other side, all right? Crazy, crazy, rainbow stop. Rainbow stop. not expecting that I don't know if maybe I wasn't using enough force but it wasn't going through so that's why I had to it wasn't going through that's why I had to test with this brush like it's a section too big but even this was able to get through it so and it's so weird like it wasn't going through but parts of it were detangled 
it just wasn't gliding through like how this was able to glide through so i don't know what that's all about like it was able to reach but it kept getting stuck like it wasn't gliding i'm not understanding but i'm gonna try it on another section though that that was weird that was weird use the curved natural brush to come to the rescue again my roots were like so 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 bad oh my god how is it getting through their hair so easily like somebody's lying or did i buy the wrong one i don't understand i don't understand like am i doing something wrong why is this gliding and then this is not like it keeps getting stuck and i don't understand I'm really not understanding. This is getting through bigger sections than this one. I feel like this operates more like a comb than a brush. This is more brush-like than this one. This one feels more like a comb. I don't know. I'm gonna give it one last chance. I know I've been working from the back and front, but I think I'm gonna, maybe I need to use a really small section. Maybe those sections are still too big. So it's gonna be easier for me to like pull a small section from the front. So let me try that. I don't know, I don't know. God, I'm scared. Really small. This isn't even like a normal section that I would make. I would part my hair to the tangle. Cause I could have gone a little bigger than this, but <sighs> let's try it. Wow, that was a waste of money, but I guess I can use that for my my weave. Because I hate having to use the same brush that I use for my hair for my weave. So I guess I can use that for weave, I guess. But wow, that's crazy. 
and there is a bit of gel still left in my hair so I don't know if maybe that's why because this side of my hair is clumping a lot harder than the other side of my hair I feel like I still have more products left on this side of my hair compared to this one because it wasn't like clumping like it wasn't clumping like that so I don't know if maybe that's why I don't know it's getting so weird oh my roots they go through so much oh gee yeah about the wrong I guess I have to, this only works in really small sections and I have to really, really take my time. Like with the other brush, I can like skip and glide, like I can go start from the top to the bottom, but this one I literally have to go step by step, just like when I'm using a comb. And I guess my other sections were way too big. Because it's gliding through this section a lot faster. Yeah, I got through this section a lot faster and it was actually gliding this time. So I guess those other sections are really just too big, I guess. I don't know. But um, yeah, I guess you just discovered something. So I guess I'll just go ahead and start speeding up everything else from here. really scary <laughs> crazy crazy rainbow star this front section and this front section jeez louise a mess um, I guess the right side of my hair which is your left was more tangled than the left side maybe and I know you might be thinking well maybe I didn't really give this brush a fair try because my hair was like super matted as you can see which is why I wash my hair in twists to prevent that because it's just a mess I literally cannot deal and I know you might be thinking, well, hey, that's not fair. I probably need to give this brush another chance. But what do you think that says about this brush? That it was able to get out everything. <laughs> Except for that one last section I had to, like, you know, finger detangle and, like, pull and all this other weird stuff. I will never be doing a wash and go again update. I won't be doing a wash and go again. It's just not for my hair type. This is something I already know. It was fun to try something new. It was cute, like, ooh, la la, curls. But the shrinkage, the matting, the tangle. I feel like I lost so much hair. And I feel like this was pulling out more hair than my other brush as well, which it was. And I know you might be thinking, well, you didn't strain the, I 
flaxseed gel so the seeds could have been preventing it from gliding through but that's not the case I mean this verse didn't really have an issue at all either this is pretty much everything from my last section <laughs> which looks like a lot more than my other section you let me know but yeah I don't like that this gives me like the same feeling that um, the original Tangle teaser was given when I felt like it was pulling out my hair. Like I could literally feel it from the scalp. Like it was, like especially like right here, I can really, really, really feel it. There's a lot of air coming in here and there's no air in my bathroom. Like it's pulling, it's pulling on my hair. And I feel like this would be great. Honestly, I just want an improvement on this brush. This brush would be so much better if it had a handle like this and if the teeth were longer because I feel like I'd be able to get through a lot more sections and it'll just be faster because when this was actually working for me, it was, it was doing pretty good because it was longer. So I just wish this was longer and I had a longer handle, that's all. But, um... This won't be my last time trying this brush. Um, I'll try this brush when I, um, I'm probably gonna have to detangle again with some conditioner whenever I wash my hair because that was a mess. And I don't even think this time I'll be able to wash my hair and twist because of all the gel and all that other weird stuff I have in my hair. <sighs> Just a freaking mess. And there's still more hair because there was hair left in that other brush. So yeah, I lost a lot more hair on this side. But um, yeah, that's just my thoughts. You guys let me know what you think. I mean, you saw it. We got all these big sections I was able to do on this side. And then this side I had to, you know, break it down a little more. what you guys think which brush do you prefer let me know what you guys think which brush do you prefer which brush do you think had the best performance which brush would you buy let me know i don't know i don't know what's going on today but um yeah this was a lot but thank you guys for watching if you like what you see and want to see some more make sure you check out my other videos because they are equally as great but yeah chat it up in the comments and let me know what you think which brush do you think performed the best and i will definitely give this another go but i think we already know who's you know that girl so yeah <laughs> thanks for watching and see you on the next video Bye. Oh, my God, you pop your star, boy.